Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the first question from CBC class 10, case study based questions from the chapter Real Numbers. And this question has three sub questions. The first and the second sub question is for one mark, and the third sub question is divided into two questions. So either you can attempt the A question or the B question. And the third sub question is for two marks. So let us begin with this question. Kushi wants to organize her birthday party. Being health conscious, she decided to serve only fruits in her birthday party. She bought 36 apples and 60 bananas and decided to distribute fruits equally among all. Based on the above information, answer the following questions. And the first question is, how many guests Kushi can invite at the most? So this means what is the highest number or greatest number of guests Kushi can invite for her birthday party. Since the question is asking us to find the greatest or highest number, we have to find out the HCF of the given fruits, that is 36 apples and 60 bananas by using prime factorization method. So here we have 36 and 60. Let us first prime factorize 36 and in prime factorization, we have to use only the prime numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on. So here let us start with 3 since it is a prime number. 3 12 times is 36 and again 12 goes in the table of 3. So 3 4 times is 12 and 4 goes in the table of 2 and 2 2 times is 4 and here we have 2 1 times is 2. So here we have got the factors of 36 that is 3 3 2 2. Next let us prime factorize 60. Again we are going to start with the prime number. So let us take it as 2. So 2 30 times is 60 and 30 goes in the table of 5 and 5 is a prime number. So 5 6 times is 30. Now 6 is divisible by 2 and 3 as well. So let me take 2 here. 2 3 times is 6 and finally we have 3 1 times is 3. So the prime factors of 60 are 2 5 2 and 3. Now to find out the HCF for highest common factor of 36 and 60 let us circle out the common terms or common numbers between these two. That is 3 is a common term between 36 and 60. So let us circle it. And 2 from 36 is a common term in 60 as well. And again we have another 2 which is common. So these common terms gives us the HCF of 36 and 60. So let me write here. HCF of 36 and 60 is equal to 3 times 2 times 2. So the common terms are written only once over here. So the HCF we get here is 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 times 2 is 12. So Kushi can call 12 guests as the highest number for her birthday party. Now let us move on to the second sub question. How many apples and bananas will each guest get? Now the number of apples and bananas was given in the question as 36 apples and 60 bananas. Now to find out how many apples and bananas each guest will get, we have to just divide the number of apples and bananas with HCF we have got in part 1 of this question. So we had got the HCF as 12. So 36 divided by 12 gives us 3 apples and 60 divided by 12 gives us 5 bananas. So each guest will get 3 apples and 5 bananas. So we will write here, each guest will get 3 apples and 5 bananas. Now let us move on to the third sub question. If Kushi decides to add 42 mangoes, how many guests Kushi can invite at the most? Now we have already found out the HCF of 36 apples and 60 bananas. Now we have to find out the factors of 42 mangoes and then again find the HCF of apples, bananas and mangoes to find out how many guests Kushi can invite. So let us begin by prime factorization of 42. Now 42 goes in the table of 7 and 7 is a prime number so we can start with 7. 7 6 times is 42. Now 6 goes in the table of 2. So 2 3 times is 6. Now 3 1 times is 3. So here we have the factors of 42 as 2 3 and 7. Now let us write down the factors of 36 and 60 to get the HCF of all three numbers. Now to find out the HCF of all these three numbers, let us circle the terms which are present in all the three. So 2 is a number present in 42. It is also there in 36 and also in 60. Now we have 3 as well, so 3 from 42, 3 from 36 and 3 from 60. Now there are no other numbers which are common in all 3. So our HCF becomes 2 times 3. So here we get the HCF of all the 3 numbers as 6. So there are maximum of 6 guests that Kushi can invite now if she adds 42 mangoes to the list. Now let us move on to the OR sub question. 
If the cost of one dozen of bananas is rupees sixty, the cost of one apple is rupees fifteen, and cost of one mango is rupees twenty. Find the total amount spent on sixty bananas, thirty-six apples, and forty-two mangoes. So here we have to find out how much Kushi spent on buying all these fruits. So here the cost of one dozen of bananas is given, and one dozen is twelve in number. which means 12 bananas will cost 60 rupees so let us find out how many dozens of bananas are there so here one dozen is 12 bananas then 60 bananas is going to be how many dozens so here we are just going to cross multiply that is 60 multiplies with 1 and 12 we can multiply it with x because we do not know how many dozens are there so here the 60 gets divided by 12 so we get That is, number of dozens of bananas is sixty divided by twelve equal to five dozen. So there are total five dozens of bananas. So if one dozen of banana cost sixty rupees, then five dozens of bananas will cost five times sixty, which is three hundred rupees. So we have got the cost of bananas, which is three hundred rupees. Now let us find out the cost of thirty-six apples. It is given here that one apple costs fifteen rupees, and here we have thirty-six apples. So we can write one apple costs fifteen rupees. So thirty-six apples are going to cost thirty-six times fifteen, which will give us five hundred forty rupees. Now finally, let us find out the cost of mangoes. One mango costs twenty rupees, and we have forty-two mangoes. So one mango costs twenty rupees. Forty-two mangoes will cost forty-two times twenty, which will give us eight hundred forty. Now to find out the total cost of all the fruits we have to add the cost of bananas with the cost of apples and the cost of mangoes so we can write here total cost of all the fruits is equal to 300 plus 540 plus 840 which will give us the total cost as 1680 rupees i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video and if you found this video useful you can click on this video where i have explained when to use lcm and hcf in a given question or you can click on this playlist to find out more questions on additional practice questions of cbse class 10 and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching